gonna be fun yet. It's gonna be a learning process for all of pumpkins. So um, let me show them what we're doing now. We have a, a really hot bowl of water. Um, and we put our manicotti shells in the really hot water. Um, so we've been watching some videos on some stuff and we have, we have the shells, the shells, manicotti shells soaking in super hot tap water, but not boiling them. Um, from what we have understood, this gets them pliable enough to feel, but it doesn't cook them. Um, so whenever you go to bake them, it doesn't over bake and overcook your pasta to where it's falling to where apart. It's, um, falling yeah, apart. falling apart and all that good stuff. So we've got our manicotti noodles in here. Um, and if you'll hand me the hamburger, we'll put it in here while I go get a can of tomatoes. So we've got two pounds of uh, ground up hamburger right here, y'all. We're just gonna throw it in the pan. Y'all know how we do it. Throw it in there, get that started cooking, okay? Get that started cooking. I seen somebody say, have you ever made this before? Absolutely not. No, we have <laughs> never made this before. But hey, we're gonna do it with you pumpkins, all right, okay. All right. All right, okay. Where this is on YouTube as well, there will be no music today. Yeah, not till we get um, done with the cooking portion anyway. Yes, so, and I've just got my meat chopper here and I'm just gonna start chopping up that meat. We wanna dr brown it really good. Brown it, brown it, drain it, strain it. Brown it, ground it, brown it, brown it, 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 and strain it, and fee fi fo fain it. What are y'all having for supper tonight? <laughs> <gasps> there is nine people uh, watching. Hello, Lori. What up, what up, what up? I see you guys on both. Thank you, guys. If you guys are new here, make sure you're following. Hi, Pumpkins. Y'all, I'm feeling so much better. Me and Caitlin have had a very good day. Um, very productive. Very productive. Bear, bear with me here. I'm trying to do a saucy. I'm so sorry. What are you trying to do? There we go. I was going to plug in the iPad so it doesn't die on us. Also, we need to take these out. <laughs> these pawns. Thank you guys for the gifts. Gotcha. You guys are having cheeseburgers. Nice. You had pork and rice. We're going to 350 for this. Trade fit. You got your cookbooks today? Hey, that's what I was getting ready to throw out you. All right, I'll let you while this is cooking. We're letting Charlie put them in. Caitlin, where did you get those slippers? They look so comfy. Um, My slippers were from Walmart for a long time ago. I found them. Are you keeping comments off on... No, I am not. Uh, comments are on. I made tuna casserole for my husband tonight. Ooh, did he like it? Thank y'all for the gifts. Venison, steak, and baked sweet potatoes. All right, let's see the comments down here. Let's see. Hello, everyone over here on the YT. Thank you, thank you. Now you'll have to, like, step to the side. Yeah, I can see that. Cookbooks available on Amazon, Volume 1 and 2. Volume 1 and 2. Uh, this mill is not in it. This mill is not in it. <laughs> Charlie was cleaning you. Um, what are you making tonight, Charlie? We're going to try our hand at making some manna cocktail, even though we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do it with the pumpkins. Yes, so what we're doing now is we've got two pounds of ground beef and we are just preparing it by browning it, grabbing it, straining it, draining it. It's okay, you can move, you can move. You made hot wings, woo! Yeah. You need a volume three, so. That was sorry. I'm thinking, tell me what your opinions are. A volume three, let me know what you guys think. Volume three. 25 desserts 
volume four, 25 crock pot meals. Tell me what you think. Run those gears by me. Run those gears by me. Let me know what you're thinking. Thank y'all for following. Thank y'all for the gifts. How you feel about that? How you feel about that? Y'all will have to let me know. Hello, Kim, over here. All y'all, 27 of y'all watching over here on the YT. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, we're just making sure that's going to be good and drained and browned and strained. Crock pot meals, definitely. Okay, okay. So, three crock pot meals, four. Somebody may throw it on the pan. Oh, also, the more people over here. Yes, thank you guys. How about instant pot? Ooh, that's a good one. That's good. All right, I'm trying to do comments on both places. I made man Connie today, too. Did yours turn out good? My YouTube is um, Beauty by Caitlin. And capital it's cap B, capital B, capital K. Okay. Hello. Crock pot meals in three. Okay. Crock pot first and then desserts. You got it. So I will start. Makes sense. I will start working on those ASAP. Um, I will do my best. Most certainly. It will take me a while to get them ready because I'm going to have to do all the recipes over again. Like, all my recipes over. And I have to come up with which 25 I want to put in it. So, I will be announcing this on um, Instagram. So, make sure you're following over there. That way you can put in recommendations on what you want meals to be. Everybody's telling you hi, Charlotte. What up, what up, pumpkin? Thank y'all for following. Thank y'all. I really appreciate it. If you guys are new here, make sure you're following. Our gift goal tonight is 1,000 ice cream cones. Have you been selling a lot of cookbooks? Um, This year so far, the first two days, no. This but month? that's okay. This month so far, no, but that's okay. Thank you for the gifts. Thank y'all for sharing the live. You just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Some good southern desserts? Yes. I'm thinking like homemade peanut butter cookies. I can't tell y'all what I'm thinking. I can't tell y'all what I'm thinking. No, don't spoil. I can't tell y'all what I'm thinking. They're saying hi, Q-Tip. Hi, hey, Pumpkins. Hi, Pumpkins. Hi, Pumpkins. Hello, I am making, um, we're making homemade manicotti. And I'm thinking a side salad with it. I don't know what old Charlay's thinking. But I'm thinking. That sounds. She wants a good old side that salad. Sounds, I'm thinking that sounds wonderful. How many recipes are on in the cookbook? So both of them have 25 recipes a piece. Completely different. They're broken down. I give you all the ingredients and stuff, and every recipe has five additional tips and tricks that can help you make this recipe your own. And the good thing about this is I will really quickly show you how it's laid out and what, you know, kind of what you got going on. So over here, you can, out to the side, you can put what you substitute in your meal, whatever that decides to be. And then over here, if you decide you can make it your own, this is how you do it. You just use this blank space down here and put how you made it and how your family liked it. That way you have it every single time. So I like that. And it's also got nice bigger font. So people who wear spectacles, you don't have to strain your eyes. You know? Make homemade ziti in New York. That's our favorite. Woo! That sounds delicious. So, those are available on Amazon. Get in the kitchen, let's get cooking, volumes one and two. What are you doing that for? I don't know what the heck Charlie's doing. You may throw it in the pan. Oh, you'll have to let us know how you liked it. So, where do you all buy your hamburger at? Do y'all go to a local butcher? Do you go to Sam's Club? Do you buy yours at Walmart? Do you buy yours at your local food, food, I call it Food City, but it's not Food City everywhere. I'm trying to make me uh, make sure the thing to drink grease in Oh. And beside Joe. Ooh, somebody had tater tot casserole, though. Nice. 
We like tater tot casserole. We do like tater tot casserole. We like it all right. All right, you need a pot for the sauce. No, I'll just make this all. Oh, you're moving TikTok. Oh, no. I can just do it in this unless you just want me. You said you needed two different pots. But you can put... The sauce in here. The sauce in there after yeah. we drain the meat. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, TikTok. Sorry, TikTok. I'm so sorry. I'm having stuffed shells and garlic bread. Yum. Local farmer. Um, I'm going to get out a cutting board. And a, oh, a Ziploc baggie. We'll need this later. Yeah, I went ahead and got that for us. So I said that hurt, Charlie. How do you think about mixing the ricotta and everything with the meat and then stuffing the shells? Well, I was thinking of doing meat and then cheese on both ends, but... I feel like it would be better if you mix it all. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. All right, we've got, let me show them this. Uh, fresh mozzarella cheese. Charlie, do you care to start cubing that up? Or do you can want me they, to cube it up? I will. Um, can they read that? No, they cannot. It's, I'll just tell them what it is. Fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. We got it at Aldi. Um, and we're going to cut it into little cubes. Lisa's family loved the throw it on the pan meal. Yeah. That is good news. We like to hear that. So we got this here mozzarella sliced. Um, it is eight ounces. And Charlie is just going to cube all of that up. Or do you want me to do that? No, I can do it. Okay. You want me to get you enough? Um, I've got one right here. I just had the same cheese and stuffed it in croissants and baked it. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. We are making manicotti. I'm just gonna. You can do it over here. Up, do it over here with Cube me. up the shape. Do it over. No, you can do it on there on the eye. No, I can't. They can't see it. Oh. Okay. 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 I think. Okay. Mm, they can't see right there. Go to the pan. Look. Look at that. All right. All right. All right. All right. That me. knife is making me awful nervous. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give me a Dr Pepper, y'all. It's about that time. So my hands have been washed. Um, so don't swear. So what, Charlie? Don't swear. Hey, honey, they've got it free slice for you. Yeah, but it's not all the way. No. Oh, yeah, it is. I know. Oh, is it all the way? Yeah, actually, it is. I, I thought it was that. just like pre scored. I did not. So know I was that. going down the lines. So, a uh, handy dandy little trick that I did not know. They already completely slice it for you. I thought it was just kind of scored. I thought it was too, honestly. But um, they completely slice it, so that makes it super easy. If you buy this particular one, show you guys up here as well. It's already sliced and stuff for you. It just peels right apart. Okay. Like Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. Dr. Pepper. Oh, that was a nice crack. Listen, y'all. Nothing like good ice cold Dr. Pepper to your lips. Somebody said you guys are so thoughtful to your audience on the YT. Oh, well, thank you. We try to we be. We try to be. It's hard because we've got two things going. Two things going. So we apologize if anybody feels like they're not getting the attention they want or whatever. Um, we got a lot going on, okay? Yo, yo. All right, you thinking quarters or more? I'm thinking four. That would be quarters, honey. Let me see what they look like in fours. A little bit more. That's what I was thinking. Like, yes, like that. If you don't care. Okay. Is that too, gonna be too much for you? Yeah, it's way too much. Well, do you want me to get you a bowl? No, or? Put it on this here part. Okay, that's fine. So what's everybody up to? What's going on, pumpkins? What's going on? Is the Dr. Pepper strawberry fruit forward? Yes, it has, you can, when you, you when you put it to your lips, listen. Strawberries and cream, and then Dr. Pepper, right? It's a very sweet soda. It's not it one is. that you're going to want to drink a lot of. No. Um, but it is very good. It's like, for me, I have one, like, one every other day because they're that sweet. But they're so good. Baked spaghetti and garlic bread. Somebody said, what are you making 
what all's in it. Okay, so we're making it up as we go. And that's why we're putting it on YouTube, too, in a live. That way, you know how we make it. All right, this meat is D O W N E. Is it? Yeah. Thank you for the gifts, guys. Thank you for following. You ready for me to strain it? Drain it. Be bye, bye, it. I'll switch places with you. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to. We're going to cut all of these. We want small pieces, y'all. Small pieces. I don't know if you can buy mozzarella with like this, but wouldn't it be nice if you could? You probably can somewhere. What do you think, Charles? I guarantee it. Everybody tell me what your favorite color is in the chat. Um, I want to know everybody's favorite color. I need that whenever you're ready. I'm in grass. Teal, royal blue. We got 24 people watching over on the tube. Over on that YT. Thank you all. All right, Charlie's gonna get this and I'm gonna start on the sauce. Charlie's going to finish this. I'm going to move over to the sauce. Sauce is where I'm going to put all of my... Sauces, sauces. All of my spices. All right. A jar of meat sauce. This isn't meat sauce. This is four cheese sauce from Aldi. Let me show it to him. Um, yes, I've got it all over the thing, so watch out. It's okay. So we've got some four cheese sauce from Aldi's. It's a 24 ounce jar. Yes. I'm gonna add a can of. If you hand me the. Diced tomatoes, lightly drained. You don't want to drain it all. Okay. If you hand me the lid. I will. Um... And then a jar of tomato sauce. And I will give you measurements of these cans. The tomato sauce is eight ounces. Look, tomato sauce from Aldi, eight ounces, okay? My, uh, Charlie, they're asking you where your apron is. Oh, I'll go get one, pumpkins. I will go get one. So we got some tomato sauce, eight ounces. 14 and a half ounces of diced tomatoes. 14 and a half ounces of diced tomatoes. And you'll need a spoon. You'll need a spoon, I got one over here. Oh, shucks. Would you rather me use that, yes. that one? Okay. That way it doesn't stain because Oh, I didn't think about that. See, so just no more than you get that in there. It stained this one. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I stained I stained our silverware. Thank y'all for following. If you guys are new here, make sure that's what you do. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to add we're gonna add some seasonings, okay? Thank you guys for following. Make sure that's what you do. Yeah, make sure y'all are following. Don't be holding out on me, okay? Sure. All right. Complete seasoning. About two tablespoons. We love that crap. We measure around here with our hearts. White pepper, about a tablespoon. Now you're going to have to slow down. Why? Because for one, I need you to tie this. Okay. And we need to show them over oh, here. I'm tying this. I'm tying it. I'm tying it. All right, it. so you've used complete, right? Yes. So we're using some complete seasoning in the sauce. Complete seasoning, y'all know. Y'all over here know. White pepper. We got that organic brand ground white pepper. This is the only brand we can actually find. It is at Walmart. 
as you can see, great value. White pepper, white pepper. And about two tablespoons of parsley. Two tablespoons of parsley. The There's no, um, you know, name on that, but that's what that is, parsley. Oh, hang on, here, <laughs> here, here. There's the yeah, lid. Yeah, parsley, parsley right there, parsley. And listen, let me tell y'all something. If y'all use dried parsley instead of fresh parsley, fresh parsley, you're gonna have to use twice the amount. Dried parsley is very fragrant and um, you, you need a lot less. Okay. So keep that in mind if you're using fresh. Um, you'll need to use a lot more. If you're using dried, you will not need as much. Mm, okay. Um, I don't know if y'all knew that. Uh, if there are any Italians in here um, or anybody who knows anything about spices, uh, verify me in the comments. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but useless knowledge, useless knowledge. Anybody who knows what they're talking about? Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. We are making stuffed manicotti. We have never done this before, y'all. Never in our life. Confirm. Okay. Confirm. All right. So, we're just going to let this sauce simmer for a little bit. My all-time favorite drink is uh, sweet tea. Definitely, definitely sweet tea, y'all. Love it. Water, sweet tea, ginger ale, cherry, Dr. Pepper. Tammy! I seen Tammy in here. Tammy! It was like a glimpse, but I seen you. Tam uh, oh, Charlie. What? Does the strawberries and cream zero Dr. Pepper taste really sweet? So it does, however, it is not as sweet as the um, full strength, the high, the high test. test. Obviously, for obvious reasons, there's less sugar and all that good stuff. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Actually, there's supposed to be, quote, zero sugar. Um, but it is still sweet as um, the other Dr. Pepper. So, yes, it is a sweet soda. But it's good. But it's good. Yes, it's very good. I would recommend it to anybody who likes strawberries and cream, who likes Dr. Pepper. I would honestly recommend it to anybody. Water, Coke, McDonald's, iced coffee. I know. Y'all, I know. You guys, me and Charlie have accomplished a lot today, okay? We have. I'm we, very proud of you. Thank you. We tackled the clothes. Charlie has been saying to me for a couple of weeks, he's like, Caitlin, we really need to do something about them clothes. Easily since the first year. And I'm like, Charlie, I don't like doing that. She hates laundry, y'all. She can wash them, she I, can dry them. Yes, I will wash them But they dry. will stay sitting in a corner until the world ends. Yeah, because I do not like putting them up. I hate putting up clothes. I hate putting up clothes. I will say it till I'm black and blue and gone. Dead. And gone. I hate putting up clothes. Are you guys? Oh, same. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm very proud of her. We got it done. We went through. We actually got everything put up today. Um, we got everything put up, put away. We got rid of some stuff. We got some more stuff to give away, to donate. Um, we did really good. We done a lot of dishes, done a lot of laundry. Um... Yeah, we've, we've been doing stuff. a lot of stuff today. We've been busy. Mature adult stuff that I've never had time for before. Stuff that we've needed to catch up on, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I live out of my laundry basket. I would every day. I would every day. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start assembling. So, at the bottom of our pan, I'm going to put some of this sauce at the bottom. Weren't you going to put the meat and the ricotta and everything in it no not yet not this part okay okay i want some sauce down at the bottom and don't come at us for the aluminum pan we're trying to make it easier to clean up yeah and this is the last one we have we have to go get some more of these pans because they have been a, a lifesaver. saver 
Okay, we can add more tomato sauce if we need to. I work at a local factory. All right, turn this off. And if you'll get my meat, please, sir. We're gonna try to do this to where you can see it. Everybody can see what I'm doing. Can't do anything. What are you talking about, Bobby? She can't pin or do anything, apparently. Go. Have you tried going out and back in? All right, y'all, so we're just dumping the meat in there, in the sauce. We might need to whip up some more sauce. It looks like we probably will. Well, manicotti, you can have a lot of sauce or a little bit of sauce. Yeah, but you want it, well, hang on. Remember, that's what that one lady did. Okay, now we're going to add in our ricotta and stuff. Got it. I'll have to open it. So we have 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. This is also from Aldi's. I've also turned the heat off and we have the oven at 350 degrees. What does complete seasoning taste like? Um, to me, complete seasoning is like an all-in-one seasoning. It literally tastes good on everything. I use it in everything. It's got garlic, onion, um, like it literally has a parsley, bit of basil. I mean, this has got literally everything in it. Um, testing one, two. Emily, we see ya. We see ya, girl. Did you pin that? Let's see, a pepper mix. This thing, this has got everything in it. I love it. I love it. Charlie is going to add this whole thing of ricotta in. I was wondering if it would, and I didn't think it would, so. We might need our other one. We'll see what it looks like. We've got two of these just in case, but we'll see what this looks like. You're going to mix that in. Looks gross, but listen, it's going to taste so good. We're also, what we're doing right now is also going to make it easier to pipe into the shell. So keep that in mind. Yes. All right. So we've got it all mixed up. This looks heck of gross, I'm not going to lie. We're going to add in the mozzarella, the chunks of mozzarella. We're going to do a little over half of them because we want some to sprinkle on top. So there's how little I chopped the cubes up. Real small, as Caitlin says, real small. Real, real small. Now we've got a... Nope, we got a filler bag. Do you want fresh Parmesan or grated Parmesan? Like Parmesan or grated? Like powder? Uh, let's do that. That, then go ahead and dump it in here. All right, how much? Um, the whole, the whole thing. We're gonna make it really cheesy. All right, so this is a six ounce bag of finely shredded Parmesan cheese. Yes. This is also Aldi's brand. A lot of the things we have are Aldi's brand. Shout out to Aldi's. We love Aldi brings. Emily, we ain't leaving the house, bro. There we go. All right. Extra cheesy, extra meaty, extra yummy. Yes. Now we've got to put all this in a bag and pipe it into them shells. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I do have gray hair, yes. Okay. All right, here I got you. So now she's just gonna stuff the filling into this bag, y'all. As you can clearly see. And then you freeze it. No, I'm just kidding. We'll have enough left over for other stuff too, huh? Yeah. All right. So let's put that much in. And see, 
Don't put it in that other end just I'm yet. Not. All right. Then you have our container. Do you know that we don't know what... Charlie is so helpful. Charlie is helpful. Just don't let it go to that corner. Okay. Charlie is so helpful. So we have it all... This looks disgusting. This looks gross. Colby, I ain't gonna bring it. I ain't leaving my house. Emily knows me better than that. We're homebodies. is in the bag. Emily, this is the contents of our manicotti. I don't know what Charlie's doing. I'm trying to run some cold water over these to stop the cooking process. Oh, you don't have to, doing it in the cold water bath, you don't have to, or the hot water bath, you don't have to do that. All right. It's just if you boil them. Will you zip the baggie? Um, Caitlin, what's the name of your cookbook? Get in the kitchen. Let's get cooking. All right. Excuse us. We're going to cut. I'm going to stand back here. We're How gonna, big? It needs to be pretty big. That's good. And this is where we get our shells. Out of the hot water bath. And then... So, let me show them real quick. <clears throat> We've got the manicotti shells right here. So we did not actually, quote, cook them just yet. We put them in a hot water bath and they've just ever so slightly loosened up to where they're not cooked. However, they are pliable. pliable enough to where you can work with them and put your filling inside of the noodles. We have learned this trick today and we are putting it to use. So I don't really know the best way to do this. I don't think you're supposed to put that in there yet. <laughs> well, can right. you hold them while I fill them? Yes. Make sure to get it down in there. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. All right. Now let's try to get oh, some in from Lord. the other side. This is messy. It is, but it's fine. And then you just lay it in there. This is messy. You can also do a spoon method, which I think we should have tried because these are... Well, you can try that too. Good thing it's just me and you eating this, huh? Yeah, well, we right, washed whoa, whoa, whoa. our hands. Oh, 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 oh. Charlie, it's come... It won't... It Honey, won't. tip the bag back. Okay, if I do that, it's still going to come out. Tip the nozzle in back. It's okay. I don't like this idea. It's okay. This is not good. This is not good. Charlie, this is real cooking. This is not good. I don't want to do it this way anymore. Put a little bit in this one. Okay, just stop. If you can do it better, do it better. I'm not. I can't. <laughs> I'll just say it. Just put a little bit in this one, then we'll try it another way. Y'all. She did not like that method. I do not like that method. It's very messy. <laughs> To me, that just doesn't seem very realistic. Okay. It's not easy. I feel like that would have been the easiest way to do it. Right? No, it's definitely not easy. Okay. We'll try it another way. We're experimenting. Definitely not easy. So, I'll wash my hands. All right, get a spoon. All over me. Get a spoon. Get one. Oh, here we go. Let's try it. We're going to spoon it because I feel it like... Way. I feel like that would just be so much better. Right. It don't matter if it gets in the in the bottom. Hey, this is real cooking, y'all. This is real cooking. This ain't set up. This ain't no professional setting, okay? Nope. This is home cooking at its finest, right, chill. I love that she's experimenting. What's going on? What's going on, Pumpkins? 
All right, what do you need me to do? Absolutely nothing. Just listen at the comments and talk to them while I feel these. Okay. Too many hands up in the kitchen. All right, all right. What we got going on here? Spoon mixture. I don't want any advice. No offense. Somebody's saying that the way you're doing it is easier for them because you can spoon it and then like push it in the way you're yes. doing it. Yes. Somebody said that they weren't happy making them tonight either. No, these are very messy. The shells are so much easier, I feel like, because you can just spread apart the shells. Maybe we can try it again another time we use in the shells and see which way we like it better. But I like I like that you're doing something new. And we have never done this, y'all. We have never, never done this. Before. Yeah, this is something completely new. She is making manicotti for the first time, y'all, and I'm actually really excited. It's gonna be messy, that's for sure. Oh, it's gonna be messy, but you know, anything messy is always amazing. That's true. It's messy and it means it's gonna taste delicious. Yes, tastes good though, yes. Yeah, it. I mean, I'm, I'm with Charlie kind of. I'm glad nobody else is eating this because like our hands have I literally. Felt, I felt so bad because like we were all in it there. Why'd you feel bad? It's only us eating it. I know, but like if we were making it for somebody else, I'd be like, oh. Oh my gosh, that's why you don't do a never tried dish before. Right. For, for somebody company. else? Yeah, no. That's very true. Because very true. you have things like this happen and like... Hey, but you're being a super awesome sport about it because you are adapting to what's going on. Adapting or just getting used to being messy. Well, either way. Listen, I have a feeling that like Italian food is not meant to be pretty anyway. But it tastes amazing. Exactly. So, Emmeline has a question. Yeah, what's up? I'm not trying to be mean, y'all. I just, I just really, where it is my first time. She gets and it's, upset. And it's not turning out perfect. She wants it, yeah, she wants it perfect the first time. And it won't be perfect, but it'll be delicious. I definitely don't worry about it lacking flavor. No, absolutely not. That flavor. is for sure. Anything you make never lacks flavor. True. All right, this is so messy. I, some people are probably cringing at this. And I'm sorry if you're one of those people. <laughs> Emily, she's putting the ricotta, the meat, and everything on the inside. And then she's putting the sauce and stuff over the top as well. And then cheese. So it's going to be kind of like a baked manicotti. Like a baked manicotti, baked ziti kind yeah. of type thing. So what other cheese do you need me to get out? Mozzarella. That's okay. it. Mozzarella. Okay, yeah. we will have to shred that up. You want to use Colby on top. You have a bag no. of that. Mozzarella. This is an Italian dish. I feel like it needs mozzarella. I got it. I got it. So we can show off the grinder. Yes. Wait. So do you want me to grind this up as well? Um, I was just gonna, gonna sprinkle put it on, that. I was on just top. gonna sprinkle that on top. Okay, do you want to do it as cubes or yes. do you want to do it shredded? Cubes is fine. Okay, never mind. So we don't have to shred up this. I forgot about the little bit of cheese left. Lord have mercy, pumpkins. Look at me. So confused. Help me with the comments. I feel like nobody's getting their questions asked or anything like that. Or do you want to do this to me with the comments? I've been doing comments. Calm down. Alright. Lots of cheese, yes. We love cheese. We have learned that this is supposed to be a very cheesy, very cheesy uh, dish. From Italians. Straight from Italians. <laughs> Colby said, Charlie, Colby is Irish. She needs Italian. That's all that is. We tried using a bag and uh, squirting it in, and Lord, we just didn't like it. I, 
I did not like that idea. I will take full responsibility. It does look really good. Dorothy's like, mmm, I love going. Dorothy, I hope so, honey. It looks really good. Like, I'm watching it the same way they are watching you, and it looks really good. Does it look as messy as it is? Um, it does look messy, but it's okay. Somebody said right here, they said, I'm Italian, or hold on, Italian here, it don't matter what it looks like, it's the taste. Okay. Her taste always comes in clutch, too. It's always amazing, so. Cash money? What? I know, you're dying for some of it. I know, I know. Never too much cheese. That's right, that's right. We love cheese. Hey, maybe it'd be a good thing, too, because y'all know I've been having some problems here lately, so all that cheese is going to help me out. Tell the Funkins how you're feeling today. Shoo, I feel good. <laughs> like I knew that I would now. <laughs> All right, anybody got questions? I'm trying to help watch the comment. Oh, Lord, there's 3,000 people in here, baby. Make sure if you guys like what you're seeing that you're following. Our gift goal is 100 ice cream cones. And yes. I do appreciate every gift if I don't see it. To say thank you, just know. Thank you for being a friend. Somebody said, can we just talk about how gorgeous your wife is? Yes, oh, we can. Lord, you my, face, gorgeous. my face is burning up, y'all. It's because I, I got this sweater on now. You know, All right, let me, to take that off. Yeah, let me wash my hands. Hang on, okay? Let me, let me throw on Follow this. if you're new here. Make sure you're following. Let when me. I come back, I better see it says a bunch of people followed. Okay? <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me throw on you. Let me throw on you. So he said, we could hear you. I was just telling her, like, y'all were saying the same thing I was. It's not. To kind of calm down a little bit. She's nervous. Like, yes. it's the first time, and she wants it to be perfect. It turned but out a, an she absolute doesn't disaster. Want, like, it's not being, it's not perfect. It's not how she's wanting like, to turn out. Like, I can't out. edit it to make it look pretty at the end. So okay? it's killing her. It's yes. driving her nuts, That's what. That's what kills me. I can't edit this to make it good at the end. You know what but I'm saying? it's okay. Like, I can't edit it. So, it's all good. Everything's kosher. Um, we're literally just, we're winging it, y'all. Absolutely. We are. We so, are. some people, all right, so she was wondering, do you guys want I her think, to put the sauce over the top as well and then cheese? I think we should save this for noodles another night. I think somebody said that it would be okay just to put a little skim of sauce on the top, too. Just a little bit of sauce. Thank you all for the gifts. Sauce and then cheese. Okay. I think a bunch of people are saying that. Okay, Here, so we'll... Hold on. Pause one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to de... Uh, derobe me. Derobe my beautiful queen. Yeah, it's freaking hot up in here. Because she blazing over here. Yes. And so that, that fan ain't working. Let's help her out. Let's help her out. Oh, this feels so much better. Woo! Do you want me to go get a fan? No. Yes, I do, actually. I'm going to get that here. tower fan. Okay. I'll be back, pumpkins. I got to go get my baby girl a fan. All right, a little bit of sauce. Y'all, this is going to be like cheesy oh, and meaty. Okay, to make me feel a little bit better, what kind of meals did y'all try to make and it was an absolute fail? What was it? Tell me in the comments. I just had the best idea. Shut the front door. Thank you for the gift, guys. Breadcrumbs. Yes. 
I need you to get them from the very top. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. How did you know that was coming? Because that woman earlier used croutons, and I feel like you just had that pop into your head. Yeah, I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. And while I get some water, Charlie's going to get me those Italian breadcrumbs way back there. Those Italian breadcrumbs way back there. Yeah, they're way in the very back. Hey, fire. Uh, yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right, so Caitlin's got some Italian breadcrumbs right here. Okay. And then I'm going to no, I'm gonna put the cheese in there, shake it up, and then sprinkle. Actually, no, let's sprinkle. Me. So. Like that. Just a little bit. Over the top. No, this is, this is, everybody's saying no. It's all good. I don't think that'll be bad. Because it's not that much. It's not like we're good? layering it. Yeah. This is Caitlin's version, y'all. She gonna do it the way she want it. Hold up, let me remind them real quick. Welcome to the Caitlin Show. Your opinion wasn't in the recipe. All right, this is Caitlin's show. This is a learning process. And I'm just gonna spread the mozzarella on top so it'll kind of melt evenly. I don't think the bread crumbs are gonna ruin it. No, Lord, no. I think it'll give it another texture. This is going to be so good. <laughs> You're excited for it, aren't you? Yes, I really am, honestly. Alright. Almost done. Almost done. Alright. Now... So after we do this one, yes. we can learn and go and maybe make it better next time. Yes, absolutely. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. We're making manicotti, baked manicotti, and this is what it looks like We're so making far. Caitlin's first baked manicotti, y'all, so yeah. bear with us. Oh, yeah, this is not perfect. And then we're going to put it in the 350-degree oven for about 20 minutes. Yes. Alexa. Did you make sure to show that? Yes, I did. Okay. Alexa, Perfect. 20 minutes. Do y'all want to stay on here and watch me clean while this is in? Mm -hmm. Oh, she didn't get that one. Alexa, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Starting now. Thank you. You're a doll, baby. You're a doll. Okay, I'm going to put this in the sink. I can clean up while you talk to the pumpkins. Well, I'm at least going to put this in a bowl first. I'll get it. Seriously. Let me clean up, and you can talk to the pumpkins. I'll call. I'll call. Maybe they can give you some tips and pointers for right. next time or whatever. All right, so what you got? No, my manicotti is new gold, please. Yes. What do you want the gold to be? We will... Reset the gold to whatever. My manicotti is not traditional manicotti, just so you know. Um, we're the Caitlin version. Beef Wellington, I have never. I don't. I wouldn't know the first way to cook I've beef. Heard of that, but I don't Tiny Donnie's. I've heard of that, but I have no idea. Tiny Donnie. Somebody asked what degree the stove is on. The degree is 350. Make sure you tell them too. 350. Hang on, y'all. I'm coming back down here. Tiny Donnie's. Let's do 100, y'all. Honey. A hundred tiny Donnie's. Oh my word. All right. Let's take. Let's let's uh let's relax and breathe through it. My eyes are pretty. Thank you. Oh Lord, honey bunnies. This has got a lot of cheese in it. I don't think it needed any more cheese. We would not be able to crack for a week and a half. You know that might be good for me. Um, thank y'all for all the gifts. If we meet that one, we'll do another one. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all for all the gifts. I seen, um, I seen a few people saying, don't be so defensive, where I was being defensive and saying y'all's opinion wasn't in the recipe. Look, that is not for the ones that are actually truly trying to help. That is for the ones being 
a-holes and trying to be rude in Caitlin's comments. We don't do that. If you're rude, you can leave. But um, for the good people and for the people that was trying to help, we do appreciate any yes. good criticism. So we're going to box the rest of this up and we can use it with noodles later on this week and have a meal yeah. or make it into baked ziti or something. Uh, yeah. So you can get more than one meal. That's the good thing I always like about Italian food is that there's always, always, always. Thank um, you, love. You're welcome. There's always, always, always enough for leftovers. Tons of leftovers. We love it. Um, yeah, and we we're eat on this for days. And we're also gonna have a side salad with this, so I think that's gonna be good too. That sauce would be good for cheese tortellini. Hey, we got some cheese tortellini. Thank y'all for the gifts. Let me know what you want me to put next if you want me to. Um, I don't think I'm doing a salad. You don't want a salad? No, because it is way... I'm just now getting over my stomach, remember? They told me to wait. Well, I don't want to open the stuff and be the only one to eat a salad, so we don't have to eat a salad. Because there's no point in one person doing it. Well... No, because manicotti and salad would be good because there's not a whole lot of the shells and you don't eat a bunch of them at one time, right? No. So you'd eat like two or three. Like two probably. And then a salad. So yeah, we can do salad. Wait, okay, hang on. Lettuce might keep him runny. Well, see, that's what they were saying, but I've been good today. Like, I'm kosher today. Oh, Lord, I'm I don't want... Well, well, you just decide. I'm, I'm okay we, without I it. I can... a salad. Well, I can have a salad tomorrow with lunch. You want me to make green beans? No. That don't go with manicotti. It can go with manicotti. No. No. Do y'all think green beans go with manicotti or no? And by the way, this stuff is like awesome. Look, this stuff is awesome. What? You are, show them the cleaner? Yeah. That stuff is incredible. I love this cleaner. It has literally changed the way I clean this kitchen. We use it everywhere, not just in the kitchen, the bathrooms, freaking bedrooms, kitchen. It takes stains out of stuff. Jeez. It does. Garlic bread. We don't have garlic bread. Um, no, we sure don't. What we had this morning would have went good with it. It would have. Guess what's tomorrow for supper, y'all? I'm going to give y'all... Charlie has been asking for this. I'm going to give y'all... Um, three minutes or a couple of minutes to guess what I'm making tomorrow for supper. I haven't used that cleaner but twice. Emily, I don't know how. Emily, this cleaner, what? it's called Bright Solutions Lemon Zip Disinfectant. Um, my uncle gave me two cases of this. Um, I don't know where he got it. Whenever we run out of it, we're we'll going to get some more. Yeah, that, that stuff is legit. The shiz it. Legit, the um, and it's not meatloaf. Emily still has a whole box. Ah, of it. somebody guessed it. What? 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 Somebody guess what you want tomorrow. Oh Lord! Y'all, somebody has guessed it. It is not meatloaf. It is not meatloaf. May I repeat? Not meatloaf. Oh, somebody said they think Sam's has that color. Really? Colby said it. Colby. Do you know sauce and we don't know? Two people's gotten it. Okay, y'all. A lot of people are saying steak. Uh, no, not steak. A lot of y'all are confusing me. So you tell me not to put breadcrumbs on my on my stuff because you said it'll ruin it. But you said I need bread with my meal. Come on now. It's different, I guess. Oh. Textures. Come on now, make up your mind. Tell me what I need to do. I think next time, surely to goodness, they have a manicotti stuffer. Like an easy tool. A manicotti stuffer? Yes. Thoughts of Caitlin after supper. You could toast some bread and put garlic. Ooh. It's not a roast. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. We're having breakfast pizza. A couple of y'all has guessed it. Charlie loves breakfast pizza. Mm. That's, the, that's some nostalgic shenanigans over right there. So that is what we are having tomorrow. Make tomorrow, a salad. Tomorrow. I don't 
know what I'm gonna do yet. Ooh, or chicken pot pie. All right, I'm gonna see what. What are you cleaning with? I will show you again. Sorry, I had to fix my nose ring. Bright Solutions Lemon Zip Disinfectant. Thank y'all for following if you guys are new here. Emily, be nice. We gotta be nice. This stuff is awesome. My uncle gave it to us. We got two whole cases. I agree with that Yes. <laughs> welcome. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Thank y'all for following. Our gift goal is 100 Tiny Donnies. We've got Dana Cotty stuffed manicotti in the oven right now. It is literally, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. It was a, if you were not in here earlier, thank you for the gift. You all were not in here earlier. It was a literal crap show and a half. No, it um, was we not. Had, we had noodles thrown across the room. We had cheese strung everywhere. You, we had this kitchen covered in flour for making the noodles. What? And honestly, it was a disaster. Y'all missed it. You are wild. So if you missed it, go watch over on YouTube. This will be saved to see my kitchen in disarray. Because listen, this was a disaster. We, I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to throw in a frozen meal. Um, a frozen manicotti meal. You're crazy. Okay, y'all oh, said new gold. Thank you for the gifts. Oh my lord. Um, new gold. We're gonna do. We're gonna do because y'all get these 500 um, tiny donnies because y'all are getting those really fast. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. I love watching you cook. Well, thank you. I enjoy cooking on here with you guys. Um, okay, hang on. Somebody said, will you please find out where he got it, Caitlin? Where he got what? The cleaner. Oh, yes. I will ask him. I think he got it from his place of employment. But I will ask where you can find it. Or I'll look it up and I'll see where you can find it. How about that? Because I feel like that would probably be easier. And somebody said we need to check Amazon for a manicotti stuffer. Yeah, I'm checking Amazon for a manicotti stuffer because guess what? After that crap show that I just had, after that, Charlie just tooted on me. It was not that bad. This kitchen was, it looked like ratatouille in here. It, it was like there was pasta thrown everywhere. Meat thrown everywhere. Cheese across the cabinets. It was bad. Me up. Now we got a frozen meal. Oh no, you missed it. Yes. I'm sorry you missed it. I'm sorry you missed it. If you guys missed it, pop on over to Tit Tot. YT. Uh, uh, yeah, YT. Head over to YT. It's going to be saved over there. Charlie's still trying to clean up my mess. We have not tried the Doritos yet. Thank you guys for all the gifts. I really appreciate it. Someone said you block me. Uh, no, we're not blocking nobody. I did. I blocked a few people. Over You're welcome. Assholes. Do they come? Do they come read us? What? Does Amazon sell the cleaner? I don't know. I'll have to look. I'll look and see if Amazon sells the cleaner. Y'all better be, yes. Y'all better be nice to Emily, period. Period. I will boot you out, okay? I will take you out at the knees. And you will be wishing you were in here. Seeing this mess. So, don't mess with her. Don't mess with her. Do what? Emily, how did you break your clippy? Emily, okay, I'm making a new hairstyle. I don't care what y'all say. Most of the time, it's my bangs that are in my face. This is the new hairstyle. I don't care. I don't care who you are, where you are, how you been, where you, how long you been there. I'm making this the new style. Yeah, you were playing with it and snapped it. Don't play with your clippies, y'all. Don't play with your clippies. All right, whose birthday is it? I'm, I'm going to sing happy birthday. How cute! I love it. Is that Dr. Pepper good? It is. It's good. Have y'all tried the Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream? It's good. I like it. It's sweet. It's sweet. 
I like it. It's a vibe. I know. I like it like this. Thank y'all for the gifts. I think there is some birthdays today. All right. Uh, you know what that means. I have to sing to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear pumpkin. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday, pumpkin! Thank y'all. Make sure you're following. Yes, Emily. Emily's putting in her two cents. We love it. She's putting in her two cents because she goes, she's bum ba ba bum bum ba ba bum bum. You need a song on Spotify? Thank y'all for following and thank you for the gifts. I'm gonna peek at the manicotti to see what it looks like. Alexa, time remaining. Y'all, I'm not going to lie, it don't look appetizing. But that's okay. That's okay. The cheese looks weird. What? It just looks funny. Where it's in really small globs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You love my smile? Well, thank you. I hope everybody's having a good night. Thank you for the gift show. Um, I hope everybody's having a good night. I am. I'm having a pretty good night. Yeah. I had an okay day, even though I put up clothes all day. For two and a half, three hours. Oh my gosh, it felt like all day. Those two and a half, three hours felt like all day. All day long. But, I made pretty good progress. We did really good. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. You didn't even throw a hissy fit. No, I didn't. Thank y'all for following. I really appreciate it. If you guys are new here and you like what you see, make sure you follow. We're just waiting on our manicotti to get out. Um, and then I'm going to make us supper. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't, if you, Emily said if you stayed on top of it, it wouldn't take that long. Thank you for the gifts. Uh, I hate doing Thank laundry. Thank you, Emily. I hate doing laundry. That is something I have never liked doing laundry. I've never liked putting up clothes. You'll wash and dry and yep. all that good stuff, yep. but that's as far as it gets. Yep. When Emily was here the other day, did you show her the mountain of clothes? No, I didn't show her the mountain of clothes. How embarrassing. Well, she don't see it now, if she ain't already. Oh, it's on TikTok for everybody to see. But that's why I did it, to hold myself accountable, to make sure it got done. Oh, okay. That's why you did it. To hold myself accountable. No. No. Where's the apron from? I don't know. Um, Dorothy got this for me for Valentine's Day, and it's almost Valentine's Day, so I want to wear it while I can. Um, so, I don't. I think she got this off of Amazon, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I love doing laundry. Lord. Who loves doing laundry? I don't know. Somebody said they love doing laundry. Sure. They love it. They love it. That's they love it. A, they need special some special kind of human being right Yeah, it is. True, yeah. I'd help you, you know, always doing laundry. Yeah, I know you are. You are always doing laundry. That is something, if you call Emily, guess what she's doing? If she's at home, She's doing laundry. Hey, maybe you can pay her and start putting her clothes up. No. No, because I've done the hard part. Is the food still in the oven? It is. Show nut. Alright. Tell me what y'all had for supper. Tell Put me it what in the you comments. Want. Do it on live with us. We'll help too. Okay. That's a good idea. They're talking about laundry. Yeah, just laundry. Shoes. That's a good idea. 
they can help you pass the time are we making and, it, a, and it not be so sad. I saw somebody say, are you making a salad? Do you want a salad? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for a solid. Let's do it. All right, we gotta move the punks. Move the punks. We gotta move the punks. Move the punks. Move the punks. We gotta move the punks. Gotta move the punks. All right, we're making salad. Yes, I got this manicotti got the best of me. She got all barts up. Yeah, this manicotti's got the best of me. Because I got aggravated. And that's what happens when I get aggravated. When I get sad, mad, I, you can tell my mood. My face don't lie. That's true, neither does well I started saying neither does your face. Your facial expressions. My face and my facial expressions don't lie. Um, you want me to get another Oh, uh, we got one more pellet down here, but um, you need that cutting board and that knife, right? Mm -hmm. I need that cutting board and that knife. Okay, let me see. There was one uh, cucumber that I wanted to use first. We're gonna pretend like it's this one. It is this one. See, I knew that. Thank y'all for the gifts. So, tell me, TikTok, YouTube. Um, do y'all like me doing this or um, would you prefer that, um, do you not like this? Oh, they're watching me. I didn't realize that. Why? That's embarrassing. Why? What were you doing? I just bent over and was being lazy and taking advantage of a minute. That's all right. I don't care. So, uh, so she's asking, do y'all mind where she's doing it live on both? Like, she's live on TT, and she's live on YT at the same time. She's kind of, so she's not paying as much attention to the comments, but she's giving y'all double the amount of content, because if you're in the live on TT late, then you can go back and you can follow her YT and watch the whole thing and see what actually happened. Yeah. So it's giving you guys something to watch as you're going to bed. And if you missed anything, it's giving you a chance to see what's going on. If you need some good entertainment. Yeah, if you need to watch me get mad over some pasta noodles. You didn't get mad. You got frustrated. I just got very aggravated that it's not perfect. I about got your finger, Charles. You are. Alexa, stop. So he's going to get the manicotti out. And we're going to let it stand for about, or sit, or stand, or whatever you want to call it, for about 10 minutes. And he, I'm sure he'll show y'all what it looks like. Well, does that look to your liking? Yes, that looks good. Looks good. Are you going to show them? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll wait then. So, this is what it come out looking like. Mmm. Boy, it smells good. It smells good. Does it? Oh, that does smell good. Okay. And that smells insanely good. Oh, I'm also sorry. Keep it right there if you don't care. While it's still warm, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning on top. And the reason I didn't add this before is because Italian seasoning has a tendency to burn if you put it on top of stuff. And this, as it's cooling down, it'll f make it all fragrant. And... Y'all, it may not, quote, look appetizing to her, but it looked good to me, and it looked like it going to, mm, mm, I'm going to love it. It's going to be so good. It smells delicious, y'all. I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Tell you what. Mm. That does, oh, they're sliding. They're slipping oh. and sliding. Be ba 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 Be ba 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 Okay. Honestly, use, it smells super incredible. I use sweet butter lettuce. It was too much 
in my opinion, too many things going on, kind of. It's all it was good. A lot. It's all good. It, it was very and a very involved recipe. That is not for there everybody. You may be talking about too much going on where you're doing both. Oh. That may be their opinion on that. Oh, is that what it is? All right. So, are you ready to end over here or what? Um. Yeah. That is manicotti, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. We're just going to make our salad and eat our manicotti. So remember to spread love, kindness, and positivity to yourself and others. And until next time, stay cool and be. Bye! Bye! Bye over on the YT! Uh, how do we end it over here? <laughs> okay, um, X. The X. Okay.